Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Chem Corona. In this video, we are going to discuss imidazole antifungal agents. Azole antifungal agents can be classified as first generation imidazoles, second generation imidazoles and first generation triazoles. The examples of first generation imidazoles include myconazole, isoconazole, tioconazole, clotrimazole and econazole whereas second generation imidazoles include ketoconazole and the triazoles include fluconazole, itraconazole, voriconazole and posoconazole. Let us understand the mechanism of action of imidazole antifungal agent. Cell membrane is rich in ergosterol. Ergosterol proceeds via acetol mevalonate pathway. So, acetate is converted to squalene. This squalene is further converted to squalene epoxide by the enzyme squalene epoxidase. This squalene epoxide is further converted to lanosterol by the enzyme squalene epoxide cyclase. Lanosterol is further converted to 14-D-methyl-lanosterol by the enzyme lanosterol 14 alpha dimethylase. This 14-D-methyl-lanosterol is further converted to ergosterol. Azole antifungal agents, they inhibit lanosterol 14 alpha dimethylase. A microsomal cytochrome P450 dependent enzyme system and thus impair the biosynthesis of ergosterol for the cytoplasmic membrane. Hence, there is accumulation of lanosterol. This accumulation of lanosterol leads to uncoordinated synthesis of chitin, cell disorganization and fungal death. These methylsterols may disrupt the close packing of acyl chains of phospholipids, impairing the functions of certain membrane-bound enzyme systems such as ATPase and enzymes of the electron transport system. Thus, azole can inhibit mammalian cholesterol and sterol synthesis but at high concentration. Let us discuss the various generations of imidazole antifungal agents. The first generation imidazole antifungal agents include clotrimazole and butaconazole. Clotrimazole is used in the treatment of tinea and candidiasis. It is intended for topical use. It is toxic when given systemically. Whereas butaconazole is used in the treatment of vaginal candidiasis. Other examples of first generation antifungal agents include Econazole, 1% cream is used for treatment of tinea infections and cutaneous candidiasis and Myconazole is a broad spectrum which is absorbed in gut. Gel formulation is used for oral and intestinal infections. Whereas vaginal creams and suppositories are used for vaginal candidiasis. Second generation imidazole antifungal agents include ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is a broad spectrum antifungal agent. It is the first oral azole for clinical use. It is not used systemically but used for dermatologic purpose. It inhibits the human demethylase and causes decrease in the concentration of testosterone and corticosterone in human. It is much more soluble than myconazole, so can be used orally. The developmental stages of ketoconazole include the imidazole ring is essential for the activity. If we replace this imidazole ring with benzimidazole, there is loss of activity. Ketoconazole is a racemic compound that is it can exist as cis-2S4R and cis-2R4S isomer. 
the cis isomer with respect to the substituents in the dioxolin ring has superior activity over the trans there are certain disadvantages of ketoconazole it includes its efficacy against aspergillus is limited it is having poor penetration into the cerebrospinal fluid about 95 to 99% of the drug is bound to lipoprotein in serum and it is best absorbed by gut in acidic conditions so antacid should not be prescribed at the same time third generation azole antifungal agents also called as triazole derivatives the third generation azoles are based on triazoles and they are also called as first generation triazoles they are more hydrophilic so can be administered orally the triazole ring is much less susceptible to metabolic degradation in vivo examples of triazoles include fluconazole voriconazole itraconazole and posoconazole let us discuss one by them first is fluconazole fluconazole is a tablet which is available for the treatment of vaginal candidiasis half life is an exceptional where one 200 mg dose is detectable in the blood for 7 days this period of time is enough to cure the infection all aryl based triazolyl variations gave the active compounds but only 2,4 difluoro was not toxic the second drug is itraconazole it is used orally has broad spectrum of activity absorption of itraconazole is improved if the drug is given with food and the major metabolite of itraconazole is hydroxy itraconazole which is also bioactive the serum half life is around 20 to 30 hours and it increases to 40 hours after prolonged dosing unlike ketoconazole it does not affect the adrenal or testicular steroid metabolism voriconazole we can see the extra methyl substituent it increases the potency and it creates two stereocenters in the molecule the active isomer is anti rs isomer the second triazole ring was replaced with a pyrimidine ring this improved the activity against aspergillus and together with the fluoro substituent also improved the metabolic stability let us see the acr of azole antifungals basic imidazole or 1 to 4 triazole with a pk of 6.5 to 6.8 is essential for antifungal activity the n3 of imidazole and n4 of triazole binds to cytochrome p450 ion the potent azole possesses two or three aromatic rings at least one of them is substituted with halogens or other non-polar groups like 2,4 dichlorophenyl orthochlorophenyl or 2,4 dichlorophenyl the most active azoles have fluoro in their structure example is fluconazole ring substitution at other position makes the azole inactive the big non-polar part of azole molecule resembles the non-polar portion of lanosterol in shape size and also provides lipophilicity so thank you for patient listening and happy learning like share and subscribe my channel chem corona